Let's have a little conversation. Starting a business is hard. It doesn't get any easier. If anything, it gets harder. But what do we have? We have groups of people who have been successful starting businesses. And we'll talk about what the success look like in a minute. So what do we know? That people can start businesses and become successful. But this is the little trick. Starting a business, maintaining a business and operating the business gets harder and harder and harder. And there are people who've done it. There have literally been families that have done it generation after generation. So what happens? Running the business, setting up the business and creating the business doesn't get easier. What happens is people become stronger. That's the trick. You've got to become stronger. Like right now, let's talk about one of my challenges with YouTube. Literally, this is a new YouTube channel and I have been at this, let me see. I've been at this about two years. And I finally have come to a place where I've kind of figured some stuff out. Now, why would I go through naming the channel? And th this is one of the craziest things. People, I, I should say a category of people are hung up on if I change the name of the channel, if I change the name of the, the channel or the content of the channel, people lose their minds, right? And I've been doing this and we'll tell you why I've been doing it. From my YouTube channel, Organically, I made millions of dollars, organically. So I know that if I fix my YouTube channel problem, there's a lot of money at the end of that. And that's one of the reasons that I've been going. And literally, a lot of people, I can tell by the comments, don't really understand how YouTube works and how people make money with YouTube. And I get the craziest comments last comment i'm self-destructing because i am trying to fix the youtube problem and let's kind of go a little deeper uh actually before i go deeper let's define what success is for a successful business number one you're making money you're making more money than you ever need that is one of the things of a successful business number two people look up to you. And one of the things that you're doing is you have a situation where people are paying you a lot of attention. People are actually respecting you and you're solving problems in your community and you're making money. So this, this is what a successful business looks like. It looks like a helping arm in the community. It solves problems, it provides utility, it provides services. Now, that's what a successful business looks like. And you know, as a business owner, you may wanna have a nice car, or you may not. One of my doctors who's really successful, he's very fiscally conservative. And we have these conversations and he drives like, um, 15 year old Mercedes, 15 year old Mercedes, his house is paid off and he's, he's a doctor. He makes really good money. I think he does like $350,000 a year, but he's very fiscally conservative. So maybe you don't want a Porsche. Maybe you don't want to live in a million dollar house. Maybe you want to live in a city in the high rise. Maybe, you know, for each person, and this is something I'm going to call it your rich journey and that's going to be a video title John down ideas as I do this video because for each person it's going to be different each person is going to be a different set of criteria. for me you know uh, in one of my videos someone's like you know do more traveling um, at the moment this is what's going on with my American Express account I've got almost a million American Express points in my main American Express account. I have close to 900,000 miles on my Delta. So what does that mean? 
I can go anywhere in the world, fly first class, stay in a five-star hotel, and do that three or four times. So that's, you know, and, but once again, I'm in the process of building stuff. And for me, this is kind of one of my orientations. We must do our work first before we play, before we go hang out. So I'm probably going to take a trip. Um, don't really know. I really don't know. And I also have two American Express um, companion passes. I got two of those in my Delta Sky Miles account. And I need to use those, I think, by August and October. So one of the things I like to do, and this is part of getting stronger, is I like to do my work first. I like to do my work first and then play later. And this is a really, really big part of it because one of the things that's, like I said, starting a business, maintaining a business, setting up a business, is just not going to get easier. But this is the key, and this is something that happened to me. When I first, because there, there was two periods of times when I tried to start a business. When I was in the military, I started five businesses. They all failed. Why did all these businesses fail? Number one, I, number one, I didn't know what I was doing. That's number one. Number two, I had no concept of what it took to start a business. And number three, I was just hoping and wishing to make some money. And then when we go back to my first successful business, I had been corporately trained to do sales. Huge, 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 huge. So I learned how to pick up the phone. I learned how to make appointments. I learned how to go meet people. And through this process, I learned how to sell appointments, meet people, and I learned how to sell products. And this process took about 18, 20 months from the beginning to the end. And what happened in those 18, 20 months, I want you to think, you go to the gym, you start lifting weights. When you first go to the gym, you really can't lift that much weight. But if you stick with it, after a year, you'll be lifting maybe four, five, six times the weight that you originally started off with a year because it was about being consistent and it's about consistently showing up. So what happened during those 18 months, it was like me going to the gym and lifting weights. I got stronger and stronger and stronger. Selling the people didn't get any easier. I would say to you, selling the people right now has gotten very, very challenging. But right now, well, tomorrow, well, later in the day, someone's gonna pick up the phone and they're gonna set up an appointment, they're gonna meet with the client, and they're gonna actually close this client and sell their product or service. They're, this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna actually sell their product or service. So we know that starting a business is not easy, but the whole thing, and th this is the thing, instead of looking for businesses to become easy, instead of looking for some hack or shortcut, look about going into the gym and getting stronger. Because that's the key. That 100% is the key. That That is the thing that challenges everything. Because when you get stronger and when you build your business from a position of strength, like I, I'll give you an example. Like I have all this paper on my desk and I probably need to put some of it in the trash can, but let's take this sheet right here. Um, this me, this is a process of me getting stronger and I'm gonna explain it because I've never done this before. So it's like me going to the gym, doing a brand new workout for the first time and I come home and I'm really, really sore. So this is the rollout, because essentially this new channel is part of it. Because like I said, I feel this time, I feel that we've gotten to a position of where I can actually launch this because you know, this, this is, there's training and there's the appropriate way to train. 
And if I had just like started this YouTube channel after I took my hiatus, I think I would have got similarly bad results because there's a lot of people who are looking for me. They're looking to see what I'm doing. They're looking to pay attention to what's going on. But now that I have made it plainly clear that we're about business, we're about setting up stuff, this is the new format. We have an Instagram account. We've got one program that we're running. So the Instagram account is being built out. We got the second program. Next week, we're gonna get into the Hustler Cute Kung Fu rollout. Then we're gonna get into the Hustler's Kung Fu drip. Then we're gonna get into mental money. And then we're going to get into the dating course. So all of this is me getting stronger and building out and creating more. And it's literally a totally different workout for me because I don't know if you've ever worked out with weights. There was something that's called a five by five. Take the five main exercises, the deadlift, the squat, the bench press, the overhead press, and the back row. You take those five exercises and you do five sets of each with five reps of each. And this is a program to get you incredibly strong. And if you eat, because that, that's one of the things, you, you have to eat to grow. So doing this five by five and eating a healthy meal, eating quite vigorously, um, eating a little bit more than you should, this is how you can get muscle and size and strength. But this is a new program because uh, essentially when I was working out with weights and I was doing somewhat of a five by five, uh, my reps were pretty low, three to eight, three, three set, three reps, three, three to eight reps. And it's pushing as much weight as possible. Now my workout's very, very different. Tomorrow we begin the new program, the 90 day program of me being in the gym, doing things very, very differently and setting things up. But this whole new thing is a new workout program. Now, how did I get to a position where I can do a new workout program for my business? What I did is I'm building upon something that's already successful. I don't know if we had this conversation because, uh, you know, when I got in the car rental business, a lot of people enjoyed those videos of me actually speaking about the truth of being in the car rental business. And one of the things that I've noticed is after I made those videos, you started having other people who were in the car rental business started to speak truth to power. All of a sudden, all of these successful car rental businesses start having stolen cars and people disappearing and people driving your car out of state and so all, of, all this other stuff that happened to me, it, and then all of a sudden it started to happen to other people. And it, it's funny how some of this stuff I need to keep. I need to keep that. And you know, I'm actually talking to you guys and I'm actually kind of working on my stuff because I got all these sheets of paper and I've got concepts and ideals on them. And yeah, all right, so what we can do, we will sit this over here to the side and we'll look at it before we throw it away. But essentially what I'm doing for my business, and I want you to think of me as being a professional power lifter. I've been power lifting, I've been power lifting, I'm quite strong, I've built out some stuff. And now I've reached a certain age where it's not important for me to be benching 400 pounds. I want to have a different look. And that's what's kind of happened here with me getting stronger. Because going back to the car rental business, car rental business is something I never did. I invested over $400,000 buying 31 cars. And personally, I just didn't like the business environment. I didn't like dealing with the car renter people. I didn't like dealing with wrecked cars. I didn't like dealing with the hassles and all these things that came with the car rental business. Now, this is something that is really, really different. This new initiative, this new business 
is built upon my previous powerlifting program. You know, uh, this, this new initiative is built on top of what worked in the past. Because say I'm a power lifter and then I get into classic bodybuilding. I already somewhat have the look, but the weight, the workout changes. I'm already physically strong, but now I start to go to the gym and do different workouts. This produces a different visual physique. And this is what I'm doing with my business because all this stuff that I'm working on is built on top of something that was already successful. Now the goal is to get more successful to build out a bigger thing. And you know, for the first time in a long time, I'm actually pretty relaxed. Yesterday, I just took yesterday off and it's going to get to the point where I'm going to get more precise with how I do these things because I'm pretty much, once I get all this built out and set up the way I want it, I'm probably going to work Monday through Thursday and take Friday, Saturday and Sundays off. And this is when I'll start taking more trips and going places and exploring and doing things. Because one of the things that's going to happen is I call it the duality of business. You want to run a successful business, but you want to also have a successful personal life. And this is something I'm not going to say it's new to me, but this whole concept, because let me go ahead and vision, right? So let's go ahead and talk about the new initiative, right? We got all this stuff we're building out. We're going to work on, right? Once we get this built out, then we're probably going to start taking two to three pure vacation trips where I go somewhere really nice and I soak up the culture and I enjoy myself. But before we get to that, because right now, based upon what I have my, my awards with American Express, I can do that right now. But right now I'm building this. And for me, from a physical from a mental mindset, it's like, we gotta do our work first. We gotta get to the gym. We gotta lift the weights. We gotta, we gotta build that strength first because business isn't gonna get any easier, but once we do certain things and once we get certain things built out, this is how I see the business going. This is what I see happening with this business. This is what I see developing with the business because here's the thing you, you got to get stronger and stronger and stronger you got to work out now one of the things that's working out and this is one of the things and I, I need to say it like this you need to become good at sales and that's going to be somewhat challenging because literally you're going to be asking people to sign up you're going to be bringing people into your situation to literally go ahead and to actually become part of your process. And for you to become good at sales, you need to actually be selling something. That's key. You need to actually have something for sale. You need to be building out something. You need to be creating something. And, you know, once again, the game of business is not going to get any easier but you can get stronger. You can get much, much stronger. And this is the key for your long-term success. This is the key that you have about becoming successful and getting on that corporate citizen thing. And I just remember, I just wrote something down and I got all this paper over here and now I gotta find it because I need that because we're going to be talking about uh -huh. like I said before so I'm, I'm going to make a, a little list of stuff and I'm going to keep up with it but this is going to be a video topic and it's going to be your rich journey what does it look like for you to be wealthy based upon your metrics um, there's a lot of people who like the Lambo SUV. I've actually seen quite a few of them and I'm just not 
I don't, like I said, it's a powerful car. The interior is very nice, but I'm not a Lambo person per se. Um, I'm pretty much converted to Porsche, but typically maybe you are a person where the Lamborghini SUV is your thing. You buy it, you drive it, you like it, it's you. And that's gonna be part of you getting on your rich journey and defining the things that you want. Because right now, my rich journey is pretty boring to most people. Cause you know, I'm not gonna have the Mr. T starter chain. I'm not having that. I'm not gonna have um, a lot of the stuff that is very common because I'm a, just a different person. I'm a really, really different person. But typically, one of the things that you have to understand is business is business. And it's not gonna get any easier, but the trick is for you to get stronger. And as long as you continue to get stronger, then you could be successful. Because I sit back and uh, when I was going through putting all this together, and talking to team members and stuff and looking back at what I've accomplished, there's a long list of things that I've done. And instead of me going over here and getting into a business I know nothing about, more on that in a minute, essentially I'm making what I've already been successful at even more successful, if that makes sense, because I already have a basic track record of success. What I've been doing, I made millions of dollars. Now, here's the trick, and this is me going to the gym, working out, getting stronger. My personal goal is to make in a month what I made in a year. That's one of my goals. I have a, I have a whole bunch of little goals that I'm working on. And with this whole process here, that's gonna get me there. That's gonna get me to where I'm doing 3 million a month and literally crushing what I used to make in a year. And then I'll, I'll speak on it because I keep, I keep talking around it because I'm, I'm, I'm so far away from it. So it doesn't make sense to really talk about it until I actually get close to launch this thing. So there's something else, another business that I know nothing about but it's going to be radically different than the car rental business. And this is something that I plan to invest in 2025. That's the, that's when I'm going to, I'm pretty much thinking I will be able to start this in January of 2025, get this process started and get that business going because this is what I'm thinking. It's April, so May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So we're giving myself eight months to work out this thing, get it going, get the income coming in and get the situation set up where we can get stronger so we can build a business, make the business better and actually enjoy. And th this is something else too. I actually enjoy all of this. So this is a different thought process than me just going in the gym and just throwing weights around. There's a defined process. There's a defined methodology in me doing this and getting this set up. So this is the thing. Business isn't going to get any easier, but the goal is for you to get stronger.